Hey, it's time to grab your scratch board or your clay board, a couple of micron pens, including a brush pen, and a scratching tool. It's a good idea to have uh, your resource material ready. So I have a photograph uh, that I got off the web uh, of a chucker. And then I uh, started to draw it with a pencil, but it felt like I really didn't know how to draw it. So what you're gonna see me do here is get out my sketchbook and uh, do a better drawing of the chucker where I pay attention uh, to the shape. So I'm gonna start out very simple and then start adding some of the details, but it's important to just get the basic shapes first and really kind of study those outlines. And then looking for, in this case, the markings, which uh, make the chucker uh, a very interesting uh, bird to look at. And then um, I used a wide graphite pencil here to start putting in the darks because I knew that I was working on clayboard with ink and that I would really need to know where those darks were before I started. And it, it wasn't important to me to finish the sketch completely, but really just to figure out what those lights and darks would be. And uh, so I knew where to, to put the heavier ink and not, and I think that's, that's good enough. Then I uh, turned it over and uh, put a layer or two or three of graphite so then I could transfer the image onto the clay board. So that's what you see now I'm outlining. And uh, it should come through well enough, just well enough, to um, where I can see it and then I can start my inking. So this is my first time using clay board and with the scratching tool, so I was a little nervous. Um, but it was a good idea to use a piece of tracing paper or clean paper to keep my hand from smudging the surface. So here you see I'm just inking in the outlines, inking in the major parts of this particular bird. It was a lot of fun to get to this stage. And then I start working on that background, um, just like the, the sketch I had done. So I'm using a brush pen there, it goes a lot faster with the, the wider tip of the brush pen. And so I just go ahead and finish that up and then decided I would scratch back through uh, the, that black pen, that surface with my scratching tool, which was a lot of fun. So I'm thinking this chucker, like chuckers are up in the morning. So I'm thinking of this kind of early dawn type light. So then I'm just trading back and forth between ink and then scratching. So scratching to get that highlight and then uh, inking. Um, the ink too is very forgiving so if I made a really big mistake I could come back and ink over it. So kind of re erasing and re reverse with the black ink. Scratch art was really fun. Um, I'm so excited to experiment with this medium some more so hopefully you'll see a, maybe a series of birds that I might, uh, I just might start. We'll see. You'll have to check back on my YouTube channel. So I get to the point in the drawing where I really need to uh, reference that black and white drawing, the pencil drawing that I had uh, done earlier. I got to a point where I just kind of lost my focus of where the lights were going to be and where the darks were going to be. I had an idea of a, a much more stark black and white or a higher contrast. Um, but then you'll see here, uh, the, what I had to do to try to get more form is turn uh, this the clay board upside down and then if you kind of see my iPad there I've got a the photograph of the actual chucker the bird um, and I'm working upside down to uh, try to get more form in the feathers and then I kind of went crazy and did a lot of line work to finish this up but I really like the direction that it went I know it wasn't exactly where I started but I'm really happy with the results and um, yeah, so I think uh, I got I got four more pieces of clay board, so we'll see what I can do with it next. Okay, so grab your clay board or a piece of scratch board and let's scratch away and I'd love to see your creations. Cindy Noid at gmail.com.